Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about nuclear fission thermal power plants. First, I am going to briefly explain how nuclear fission works. A neutron is being absorbed by a heavy nucleus, for example uranium-235 becomes to uranium-236, and uranium-236 is very unstable, causing it to split into baryonium-141 and krypton-92. Along this process, lots of energy is released in the form of heat, and after this process is taken, three more neutrons will be released, and these neutrons can travel inside the container to be absorbed by more uranium 235s, thus causing a chain reaction. Then let's take a look inside the reaction core. Here we have cylinders filled with uranium fuel rods and these cylinders are immersed into high pressure water. The energy released by the fission reaction will be absorbed by the water. Then, this high pressure water will pass to a heat exchanger to heat up non-pressured water, which then will be quickly vaporized by the high pressure water. Then the steam will pass down to the steam turbine and transfer its pressure into mechanic energy for the spinning shafts, which is connected to a generator to make electricity. And then steam will exit from the turbine and enters in condensers. The other side of the condenser will either connect to a one-time water through system such as seawater, or a circulating system consists of cooling towers. Either way, the water will condense the steam and it can pass back to the reaction core to be heated again. And the cooling water, if one time through, will be released into the environment. Or if used cooling tower, the water will be sprayed down from the cooling tower, where natural airflow will cool down the spray water so it can be cycled again. And this is all I have for you about nuclear fission thermal power plants. Thank you for watching and see you next time.